Welcome to my new show, Painting with Catherine. Today and tomorrow, I guess like the next 24 hours, my goal is to do something about these kitchen floors. It's about 4.30 on Saturday, and I wanna have this done by Super Bowl time tomorrow. Pretty much all I've done is pull out all of my supplies. I cleaned a little corner of the kitchen floor. I pulled out the rugs, but the hardest part is gonna be today. I've gotta to clean the floors and then do the base coat. Also, Chris is like, why are you doing this? Because we're gonna have our kitchen remodeled. And it's like, I know, but I have my reasons. One, because we don't know when we're gonna have it remodeled. So I might as well paint it gray and enjoy it as long as I can. Two, because I already have all the supplies, so it's free. Three, I had like four reasons. Um, three, because, oh yeah, because I don't know what kind of floor we will put down when we do remodel. And one of my ideas is like a dark gray tile. So I figured I might as well paint it gray and see what I think about it. And then fourth, because I like painting, so I needed a project. So here we are. Going around and cleaning the baseboards with just some Clorox wipes. Even if you are not planning to paint your floors, I highly recommend doing this. This is a trick I learned while, like when we listed our house, just going around and Clorox wiping all your trim makes a huge difference. And then I'm gonna Swiffer the floors and then crud cutter. So I like did a deep clean with this stuff a couple months ago, got in all the grout and everything. So today I'm just going to go over this with a towel, just kind of spray it and wipe it up. This stuff actually came with the floor paint. It's a Rust-Oleum brand. Um, so if you're going to paint your floors, I highly recommend using this. It's actually recommended to use a cleaner and degreaser. That's the important part when you prep your floors for painting because you want the paint to be able to stick to the floor. So you can't just like swiffer it and sweep it and vacuum it. You need to use the cleaner and degreaser. A little dust buster just for little things that get on the floor. And I got some paint brushes. Um, paintbrush cleaner. And I have these little rollers, but I'm actually debating whether maybe I try it with the bigger size today since the floor is so big. I figure I'll start off with that and see how it goes. And tape if I need it. Paint can opener and my paint. So this is ooh, the same stuff I used in the bathroom, but I'm not gonna do a pattern this time. I'm just planning to do a solid gray. So it should go a lot faster than before. So this one I'm using is called French Gray. And then the second coat, it's just a clear coat. Um, I think that's everything. Also, pro tip here, if you're gonna use Clorox wipes a lot, I recommend putting some kind of gloves on because they just, if you use them for a while, they make your fingers just, I don't know, it kind of burns actually. So if you're going to use Clorox wipes, get you some gloves. six o'clock and I'm ready to paint. I've got socks on because I learned last time that my feet were just tracking stuff around the bathroom floor. So socks to keep it clean and I will change them out every time I either go in or out of the kitchen. I've got a little bit of paint, brush, and I've decided to go with the little roller. Here we go. I've done my first little section with the brush and the instructions say to um, keep a wet edge. So 
do the brush and then do the roller right away. Um, you don't want this to dry and then go back over with the roller. So I'm just gonna do little sections at a time. It's day two, almost 11 a.m. And the Super Bowl is tonight. My goal is to finish one more base coat and two top coats by then. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's satisfying. Yeah,